and a few of them few of the ones that I find valuable and that we use most often, I think, are looking, one, at the revenue model of the business, so really questioning what is your revenue model, uh, a.k.a. how are you going to make sales, how are you going to make money from this specific technology. So we talked about today at lunch, There's some people have the build it and they will come mentality of if I build an amazing product, I don't have to worry about sales and marketing or how I structure my contracts or anything like that and I'm going to do fine. That very seldom works from what I've seen in practice. So we're going to look at different revenue models companies have utilized. Uh, and then two, value chain analysis. So we'll look at how do you identify your customers, specifically your competitors, your channel and technology partners, and potentially who your suppliers are. Okay, so revenue model. So say you have an idea and you Maybe you grab a partner here at Mississippi State University to help develop that idea. You, you could either bootstrap or maybe you go to friends and family or other angel investors and try to get funding. Some questions they might ask is, one, what's your revenue model? But two, will you sell to consumers or businesses? Will you charge a one-time or a subscription fee? Could this be an ad-supported offer? Would you charge for installation and support? Uh, any other services? How much could this this concept potentially make in year one, what about in year five? And again, they probably ask a lot about the cost, but we're focusing as well, we're focusing for the most part on the revenues right now. Uh, and finally, how many users and clients will you need to hit your target estimates? So if it's mobile phone companies you're selling to, which mobile phone companies, and how many accounts are you going to have to win uh, to get the, the revenue you're looking for? So four major types of revenue models. There's kind of the fee-based revenue model. Uh, you pay a dollar, you get a song. A, a lot of models in retail we see are pretty simple like this. Subscription model, Netflix, you pay uh, however much, 10 bucks a month, and you get to have two DVDs out. <coughs> ad-based, Hulu right now is completely an ad-based model. They don't charge you a subscription fee. They try to make money by selling ad inventory in those web clips to brands. And they charge you know, $25 per thousand views on those web videos. And then hybrid models, which Comcast surprisingly has a hybrid model. They make money through your video subscription that you pay every month. They also make money by selling what's called local ad avails or local ad uh, advertisements. And they even make money uh, via number one as well by selling video on demand, uh, pay-per-view type films. So there's a lot of ways to uh, structure a revenue model. But I think it's useful to look at some companies, one, that are searching for a revenue model, and two, that have maybe had problems find, or two, the companies that haven't found a revenue model. So searching for a revenue model, YouTube, Hulu, Twitter, MySpace, Facebook, a lot of the companies, you know, kind of the web applications we utilize, most of these are either not profitable or marginally profitable and are still trying to build a base and find a revenue model. And they're, I think, yeah, most of these are trying ad-supported models, so they're trying to make money via advertisements. Uh, but, you know, that's for, for a good slew of these not really covering